You know, it doesn't matter how old you are or what room in the house you're in, you need a place to stick your messages. I have a place for you to stick them, okay? They're right here on these cork tiles. You can buy these pretty inexpensively at most stores, even home improvement stores or some of the big box stores. And I'll tell you what, they are so fun to decorate and hang on the wall. So let me give you some ideas of what I did. First of all, I made this one. I love this idea, I just and I love purple. And I just took a stencil and laid it on top of the tile and stenciled the paint over it and then glued some really pretty flowers to it. So it takes glue and uh, uh, paint really well because it, it is a porous material. So just keep that, that in mind. And I really like this idea. I think this is so cute. This would be so cute for like a teenager's room or a boy's room. And um, I just distressed the tile with some acrylic paint, did some stamping on it. And I have a segment on my website about repurposing jeans. Well, here's just another idea on how to do that and what to do with them if you do. So I made it so you could actually use the pocket of the jeans as you know a storage place. And this one too, how cute is that? Love that. Okay, and then this one is more for like a girly girl's room. And you could just, you could go crazy with this. I mean, you could stencil the back, you could add flowers or whatever you want, but I thought this fun little trim across the top and the bottom, and then some bling bling, because what's a girl's room without any bling, right? Now, here's something to keep in mind. These particular tiles are not very thick, so if you're really going to use them as um, a cork board for messaging, then you might want to double up on your tiles, okay? And how are you gonna stick your messages to your cork board, right? Because that's the whole point. Well, I have a great idea. We're gonna use the bling bling one here because if I were gonna use this, I would take all of my old jewelry and cut it up and make push pins with them, which is exactly what I did. So this is just some old jewelry that I've had. I didn't know what to do with it. I mean, whoa, talk about 1980s earrings here. <laughs> I actually wore those. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, I here's what I did. I made push pins out of all these. How cute is this? Look at these. These were earrings. I cut the bottoms off. Hearts. Oh, talk about an 80s flashback here. Look at this. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I seriously wore these, I really did. And I had this most amazing purple dress to wear them with, yeah. And I couldn't bear to throw them away. I mean, really, look how pretty they are. So now they're push pins. More pieces of jewelry. Oh, bottle caps. These are those decorative bottle caps, not real ones, but you could use real ones. And here's the point. You can use anything, depending on the theme of your cork tile that you've decorated, you can Theme it out with matching push pins. I use, this is a glass bead. This is another piece of old jewelry that I had. I lost the one earring, saved the other one. I saved everything. Okay, so here's how, oh, and I love that. Love that one right there. So here's how you do it. You're gonna need a pair of little nippers, just like this. These are nice and heavy duty nippers, okay? And these are important because you're gonna need these to remove the backing off of your piece of jewelry. Pull that off there. These have uh, been on for quite some time. Whoa, might, it might need protective eyewear. I don't even know if I can get that part off. But I, you know what, since it won't come off, I'm gonna use it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I lay this down just like that. So when it comes to glue, you wanna use something like this. I use E6000 as you could tell a lot. Um, or you can actually buy a jewelry metal glue. They both work great. So what you wanna do is just put a little blob of glue on the back of your item, whatever it may be. And then I have a whole bunch of uh, thumbtacks here. And then you just set your thumbtack right in the back and let it sit. And I'll tell you what, that baby's not going anywhere. It takes a couple hours to dry and you got it. You're all good. And that way, whenever you're posting messages on your message board. Look how cute that is. 
It'll be all themed out and so adorable. You could do one for your kitchen, you can do one for the bathroom. Well, maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> you get the idea. So have fun with it.